A man connected to the Natalie Holloway case is now dead in a Northport kidnapping attempt gone wrong. Today we learn more about him and what this could mean for the future of that high profile case. John Rogers joins us now live from Northport with more. John. Good evening, Stacy. John Ludwig revealed in a recent TV special that he helped to dig up and cremate Natalie Holloway's remains. On Wednesday morning, a woman stepped out of her car and was suddenly approached by her former roommate, 32-year-old John Ludwig. Ludwig attempted to kidnap her, but she fought back, took his knife, and stabbed him. He later died from his wounds. The, the doctor said that it, it just nicked a, a main artery. Recently, Ludwig publicly admitted he helped dispose of the remains of Natalie Holloway. So John and Vanessa took the, the body, and they took it down to that house in the back Gabriel the house. Madrigal was Ludwig's friend. They worked together on the TV special. He says Ludwig knew Jordan Vandersloot and told the FBI Holloway overdosed on a date rape drug and Vandersloot killed her. Later, Ludwig and Vandersloot uncovered her corpse. They go and they burn the hair off. Ludwig claimed they cremated her. Never, never had any remorse whatsoever what he did. Madrigal was shocked yeah, to learn about Ludwig's bizarre house. death. And I'm not saying this is justice. I'm not saying that. You know, I still feel bad that he died the way he died. He says Ludwig still left behind a lot of clues that maybe one day could help bring closure to this case. God works in mysterious ways. Gabriel Madrigal is still working closely with the Holloway family. He believes that Natalie Holloway's remains were dumped into the ocean. However, he's still optimistic and hopeful that there's still, still some clues left to be uncovered in Aruba. Back to you. All right, John Rogers, live for us. Thank you. New video.